A Minnesota mother died from a cancer she believed was linked to her time serving our country. Amy Muller served two tours in Iraq with the Minnesota Air National Guard. During that time, she was exposed to toxic burn pits where the military burned waste like chemicals, munitions, and petroleum. WCCO's Jennifer Merrily spoke to Muller's husband about a vibrant life taken too soon. Present ours. Amy Muller lived a courageous life full of service and sacrifice. The 36-year-old married mother of three died February 18th after bravely battling pancreatic cancer. Jace keeps saying to me every night, I wish we could have a second chance to save mommy. And, you know, he wants to fly to heaven in his Batman cape and bring her back. Brian calls Amy an incredibly loving mother. Kaden, Jace, and Emmy Lou were her world. Oh, you want more than that? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> her gifts extended well beyond her family. She was someone who could make everyone feel important, and so many called her their best friend. She always, no matter what, made people feel like they were the only person in the room. She did that while serving our country. Originally with the Air Force and then with the Air National Guard. When you think about people that serve our country, you think about somebody that believes in America and believes in fighting for our freedom, and she was one of those people. During her 18 years in the military, Amy was a military photojournalist, often documenting a fallen soldier's funeral. She spearheaded a program to create video and pictures for families who lost a loved one. And she designed the Gold Star Memorial license plate to commemorate Minnesota's fallen heroes. When you have a servant's heart, you have a servant's heart. She just always wanted to do something more. Last April, doctors diagnosed Amy with stage 3 pancreatic cancer. She approached treatment like everything else in her life with bravery and courage. We did the best we could. We fought with one of the most aggressive chemo regimens you can have. In February, the time doctors believe she had left went from months to weeks to mere days. We just weren't ready. We were ready. We were going to make videos for the kids. And but she kept fighting. The Mullers believe Amy's diagnosis is linked to her time in the Air National Guard. She did two tours in Iraq in 2005 and 2007 and during that time was exposed to toxic burn pits where it's documented that chemicals, paint, aluminum cans, munitions, petroleum, among other things, were constantly burned. In environmental, that's the biggest cause of cancer. So there's no question that a 36-year-old with pancreatic cancer with no history of pancreatic cancer in their family that had to be related. During her journey, Amy had the strength to stand up for veterans who were also exposed. She worried the answers will come too late for many. My dedication to her is to continue to honor that and keep that story alive and make sure that veterans get taken care of. His dedication to her will also be to see through what Amy wanted in life for their kids. They don't completely understand that we're never going to see her again, but I just tell them that Mommy will always be with them, always be in their hearts. The average patient diagnosed with pancreatic cancer is twice Amy's age. There is now a national registry for veterans to document their exposures and concerns. More than 100,000 veterans have signed up. So far, the VA says there is no evidence of long-term health problems from exposure to burn pits. Last month, Minnesota Senator Amy Klobuchar introduced a bill to better understand the health concerns and the possible effects of the exposure, mm -hmm. Frank. And Brian has started the Amy Muller Foundation in her honor to raise money and awareness for veterans affected by pancreatic cancer. And of course, we have all of this information on our website, WCCO.com. I hope it's not like Agent Orange where it takes some 30 years to figure something out and people can't get help. That's what people are talking about right now and, and I think Amy's family and, and many others right now feel the same way, Frank. All right. Well, hopefully we'll discover something one way or another. Mm -hmm. Thanks, Jen.